What is going on everybody? It's Neil here with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to disable heads up notifications on your Android Lollipop device without needing any root. So just to clarify, this will not disable notifications completely, just that little pop-up we saw at the beginning of this video. You'll still get the status bar icon and you'll get the notification within your notification tray. The reason you may want to do this is because simply you don't like those notifications and on Lollipop there's no real way of disabling them. It's either heads up notifications or no notifications at all. In order to do this we'll be using the application called Heads Off. Again it doesn't require root and it's still in beta stages of testing so it's not available on the App Store unless you become a beta tester which you can do if you check out this guide over at GadgetHacks.com. See there's another heads up notification. Kind of annoying right? But once it is made available, you'll be able to download it from Google Play. Upon opening the application, the first thing you want to do is tap right here so you can enable the application and grant it notification access so it can monitor your notifications and prevent them from coming in. Other features include enabling heads up on a per app basis. So obviously you may want to get these notifications for important applications like maybe your social media or your messages just so you can stay on top of them. And just so you're aware, this is a premium feature. If I select an application, it'll tell me that it's a feature in the Pro version. And the Pro version has yet to be priced, so hopefully it's not too much. In addition to enabling heads of notifications on a per app basis, you can also select lock screen and specify how you want your notifications to come in on your lock screen. Now this isn't that great of a feature because you can do this natively within your Android's settings. So with the application enabled, let's go ahead and show you how your notifications will now look. There you go, I still got the notification, it's vibrating, it'll make a sound if you have your sound enabled, and you'll still have the notification within your notification tray. So definitely check out the full guide over at GadgetHacks.com, especially if you want to become a beta tester. Also don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for some more awesome and very useful Gadget Hack videos.